A Lucene Alliance Nequadria bomb is a tactical explosive device employed by the Lucene Alliance. It uses Nequadria as the reactive material rather than the more common Naquita. The Lucene Alliance variant of the Nequadria bomb is a relatively low yield device compared to the Kilowan and Tori variants, possessing an explosive yield of only 50 to 70 megatons, compared to the multi gigaton yields of the Tori weapons. In fact, the yield is roughly equal to that of the Tsar Bomba, detonated in 1961, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated on Earth. The bomb is still powerful enough to destroy a city the size of Washington, D.C. The bomb's design is relatively simple, but protected by a colorful holographic shell, which renders it completely impossible to see with the naked eye. Thus, the only way to disarm it is by touch. By 2010, the Lucene Alliance had acquired supplies of Nequadria for use in their own bombs, possibly from their outpost. The Alliance employed them in their war with Earth, planting them on two Tari bases, possibly destroying them, and trying to use one on Earth. Camille Ray and Ronald Greer, in the bodies of Senator Michaels and Dr. Andrew Corvell, tried to disarm one such device but were unable to do so, exposing themselves to fatal radiation levels in the process. Michaels was able to learn how to disarm the bomb from Vero and switch back to her body with Corvell to do so herself, which she succeeded in doing.